हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन प्रूव दैट द कर्व्स वाई स्क्वेड इक्वल्स फोर एक्स एंड एक्स स्क्वेड इक्वल्स फोर वाई डिवाइड द एरिया ऑफ द स्क्वायर बाउंडेड बाय एक्स इक्वल्स जीरो एक्स इक्वल्स फोर वाई इक्वल्स फोर एंड वाई इक्वल्स जीरो इन टू थ्री इक्वल पार्ट्स सोल्यूशन शुरू करने से पहले लेट्स नोट डाउन द की कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम सो इस प्रॉब्लम के लिए की कॉन्सेप्ट है एरिया बिटवीन द कर्व्स से फंक्शन एफ एक्स एंड जी एक्स सच दैट एफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू जी एक्स इन द इंटरवल ए टू बी एंड एरिया इन दिस इंटरवल इज एक्वल्स इंटीग्रल ए टू बी ऑफ एफ एक्स माइनस जी एक्स टाइम्स डी एक्स Now with the help of this key concept, let's now start our solution. अब क्वेश्चन में हमारे पास दो कर्व्स है एक वाई स्क्वाड इक्वल्स फोर एक्स एंड द सेकेंड इज एक्स स्क्वाड इक्वल्स फोर वाई एंड द अदर बाउंड्री कंडीशन गिवन आर एक्स इक्वल्स जीरो एक्स इक्वल्स फोर वाई इक्वल्स जीरो एंड वाई इक्वल्स फोर नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द ग्राफ नाउ सपोज ये हमारा कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस है यहाँ पर एक्स एक्सिस यहाँ वाई एक्सिस दिस पॉइंट इज ओरिजिन राइट एंड सो दिस गोज फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री फोर यहाँ पर पॉजिटिव एक्सिस पे वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नाउ लेट्स ड्रॉ दी ग्राफ द बाउंड्री इज गिवन आर एक्स इक्वल जीरो दैट इज वाई एक्सिस y equals zero that is x axis then x equals four so the line x equal four so the line looks like this so this is x equals four now the next boundary is y equals four the line looks like this this is y equals four and this intersection point is four comma four Now we need to draw the parabolas. First is y squared equals four x, and the next is x squared equals four y. Now to draw the graph of equation y squared equals four x, understand that this represents a parabola which is concave towards positive x-axis, and also, according to the conditions, we are only concerned with the part of the parabola that is in the first quadrant so the graph will look like this as the parabola passes through origin and 4 comma 4 and again we are only concerned with the part of the parabola that is in the first quadrant to yahan par kya aa jayega parabola will therefore look like this now as we can observe to ye jo bada square hai of length 4 side 4 units each so this square is cut into three portions let's call this portion a1 this is a2 and this is a3 and hame question mein bola gaya hai ki we have to prove that these regions are of equal area so we need to prove to prove that a1 equals a2 equals a3 now let's first get the value for a1 a1 will be equal to see this curve has equation y equals 2 times square root x and a1 is therefore the region between the curves y equals to 4 and y equals to 2 times square root x over the interval 0 to 4 so a1 will therefore be equal to integral from 0 to 4 of 4 minus twice of square root x whole times dx now let's integrate we therefore have yahan par aa jayega 4x minus 2 times x raised to half ka integration kya aa jayega x raised to half plus 1 that is 3 divided by 2 whole times 2 divided by 3 and limits are 0 and 4 abhi upper limit apply kar lenge aa jayega 16 minus 4 by 3 times yahan par aa jayega 4 ka square root that is 2 2 cube is 8 and minus lower limit apply kar lenge yahan 0 and yahan 0 to 0 aa jayega 
so the overall value for a1 is 16 minus 32 by 3 and that gives us 16 by 3 so a1 ki value aake abhi a2 ki value nikalte hain a2 is equal to see if we look at the graph so a2 is this region and it is the region bounded by two curves that is y equal to square root x two times square root x and the other curve is y equals to x squared by 4 so in dono curves ke beech mein hai region a2 now therefore area a2 is equal to integral from so integral from x ki value kaan se kaan tak 0 se 4 tak so yaha par limits are 0 to 4 now the upper boundary for a2 is the curve y equal to 2 root x so here it will come 2 root x minus lower boundary kya hai? x squared by 4 whole times dx now we will evaluate kar lenge. Abhi, twice of square root x ka integral kya hai? 2 by 3 times x raised to 3 by 2 minus x square ka integration x cube by 3 times 4 that is 12 and limits are 0 to 4 Abhi limits apply kar lenge. so therefore a2 will be equal to so let's rewrite here haan par aata hai 4 by 3 times x raised to 3 by 2 minus x cube by 12 over the limits 0 and 4 Abhi upper limit apply kar lenge. a jayega 4 by 3 times 4 ki square root 2 and 2 cube 8 so 4 times 8 divided by 3 minus par 4 squared times 4 divided by 12 minus lower limit laga lenge, 0 a jayegi par 32 by 3 minus 4 1s are 4 3s are 16 by 3 a jata hai. and the overall value is 16 by 3 so a2 ki value bhi aagai ab e3 nikal lenge. a3 will be equal to now if you look at the graph, here A3 is the region under the curve y equals x square by 4. Right? So, A3 will therefore be equal to what? Integral from 0 to 4 of the area under the curve, right? So, this is x square by 4 times dx. So, here will integration x cube by 12 limits. 0 to 4 upper limit apply kar lenge a jayega 64 by 12 that is 16 by 3 minus lower limit is 0 so a3 ki value bhi aagi 16 by 3 so therefore a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a3 equal to 16 by 3 square units and so therefore Let's also calculate the area of the square, right? So, area of square is equal to 4 times 4, that is 16 square units. And now, therefore, we can say that the curves y squared equals 4x and x squared equals 4y divide the area of the square into three equal parts so this is our final answer i hope you understood it well best of luck and thank you